first of three very important matches for you. Yeah, uh, you know, I thought it was a fantastic performance from us tonight as a team. Um, we dealt with the elements well. We we imposed our game on the opposition. Um, we scored a couple of decent tries in the first half, but I think uh, as a whole, you know, set pace to our game management, to how we were set up by our attack coach and our defence coach, Matt Sherrod and Brad Davis. It was exceptional and the boys delivered on the field. You mentioned um, game management now. Do you feel that like you guys perhaps won this game with patience tonight? Yeah, what your time with the chances you had where the cheats is a little bit erratic and they got the ball We know that, you know, if you look statistically at the cheaters at home, it, they average five five tries per game. And we know they love chaos, they love that broken field game. So we want to be really good in terms of our set piece and our set piece attack. Uh, and force them to make tackles and we believe we get opportunities and you know, we scored four really good tries and possibly left you know three or four others out there and you know that's great for us because you know we're delighted with the win but equally we know we can be better. Just the, the underfoot conditions must have suited you guys pretty well. Um, something we're not used to, um, pitchers are that to be honest. Um, I, the boys found it a bit different on the team run there yesterday. Uh, we were talking about it in the change room now. Different it was in our legs. Our legs were a bit heavy. Um, I think that's why uh, we, we played the game we did, where we took our time and, and, and stuff like that, really take the game away from cheaters. And the cheaters are still pretty much in their game up until you all score. I'm sorry? The cheaters are very much still in their game until you score their try. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we spoke about the half time, um, try and get the first try, and uh, obviously we came out and they saw a good try from the from their own uh, try line, so um, we just have to press the reset button. And um, the fair dues of the boys, the resilience, and, and the way that we racked it after that try was perfect. You guys got the Kings next week, totally different conditions. Probably look going to be a lot more near down there, but you should feel that you should be walking away at the bonus point next week. Um, we never, we know it's going to be a tough game playing any team in South Africa is always tough. Um, uh, no matter who you play, so you know we, we're going to have to go back, look at the game, uh, and um, we, we know it's going to be a tough game, especially the first 40, 50 minutes. Um, we've got to be on our game. If they have a sniff, they're, then they're going to be there f to make a tough day for us. And what do you work on for next week? Uh, we, we'll review the game. Uh, we want to take those chances. We can tidy up certain elements of our, you know, maybe our pass accuracy at times, the contact area, but. We don't want to give too much away at this stage. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll see it in our performance next week. How tough was that? It is tough. It's different. Um, you know, obviously, we're not used to the altitude, the the heat, the humidity. Um, the pitch felt quite heavy. Um, it was like spongy, I guess, to what we're used to at the Liberty, where it's like a football pitch and it's quite um, hard. Um, so, but we knew we knew we had to, we had to deal with all this, and um, no, the boys were, were great. We, we had a good team run yesterday, um, and we knew what we had to do today.